Hey up, this is uh, Droider from Ultra Auto Forums again. Um, I've spent all day sorting uh, the lighting out on the, the Sky Jib. Um, finally finished it, I think, just about. Um, quite happy with it now. Um, I know shouldn't have the props on in the house, should we, Bart? After our experiences in the past, but um, I just wanted to uh, show a couple of things that I've done uh, after the maiden yesterday. Um, it's quite important with coaxials that uh, we actually get um, the props um, parallel to the ground and to each other. And so I take the legs off and uh, get an accurate um, engineer's rule and um, get those distances correct and obviously level more importantly on a Y6 but um, that's what I fly most uh, so it's just part of the commissioning process for me to do this with the with this first um, X4 um, lighting wise I'm using lighting for aero modelers um, lights uh, I do have some brain cube ones and I'm using a brain cube a lighting controller um, which is quite nice you can program it to different functions um, so I've just got the navigation lights on uh, the body there and the strobe on the top on one switch and then um, orientation and flight lights uh, on another switch so I've got red at the back and uh, white at the front um, I was going to use the brain cube but unfortunately um, they sell out before they've even made it stuff um, and you never know when you're going to get it. I did get some small lights uh, for my little qu uh, quad last uh, last week after waiting about three weeks for them. One of them is the LED that's flashing on the, um, the strobe on the top of the unit there um, and these are the little ones on a switch that doesn't work oh no wrong switch on the radio uh, this switch is from lighting for aero modelers uh, these are the red lights you can see there is quite a bit of a difference in those if i just turn that round um they are very very bright and compared with uh, ross's super lights uh, i think they're a little bit too bright to be honest um even in daylight, they're really bright and the white is just blinding. Um, and these are the little ones. So you can see it's probably flashed the camera out there. Um, again, if I just spin that round, um, the difference between them um, is quite marked. Um, whether or not it's just the dome that's on it that makes them brighter, but they are super, super bright. Uh, but again, it's really hard getting hold of them. Um, but you can put your order in and wait if you want them. Uh, so that's it for now. Um, I've just got to work on my next project on the machine now, which is going to be ooh, Skyline. I'm not sure if it's going to work or if I'm going to Radians. I hope it works. Um, I've built up a set of legs here with the AV200 on it. Um, to test it out, um, I've got the skyline mounted in on the um, gimbal and got the wiring into a nice little box so it tidies it up nicely. And I've just got to now work out the software, which I hate because it's Windows. Uh, so, no doubt, I'll be ringing Z axis for some help with the driver again. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, so, we can just knock them lights off on the TX now and job done. It's time for a beer. <laughs>